this is my website I have created the with SQL server database the whole link you this website I will uh, host in the uh, shumi.com free website how to show how to host a website in uh, free this is the web config file and this is the connection listing and this is the uh, default page login form dot aspx and my connection listing is uh, uh, tl log t log tb connection listing and connection listing is uh, uh, here is uh, you can see the whole web config file all t all code and with default page here is just now I am gonna create a new folder name is t log okay in this folder I will host the uh, website just click on save yes you can close it or it uh, can or can be open go to the solution explorer right click in the solution and just click on publish website okay select the location where I just uh, I just created a folder T log go to the folder in the project host uh, and t log see that now this is empty just uh, see uh, i have selected just click on ok ok now it's just uh, publishing now go to the browser showme.com here as you can see uh, free dot net hosting just click on learn more ok now here is just click on order now ok it takes uh, some time it's dependent upon your internet speed here you first of all you should sign up I just uh, using it as a uh, Habib Ullah okay user ID Habib password and uh, email address is uh, I, I just uh, use an email address and additional email address you can use or you can ignore it remember that where it's uh, put a star right side of the text box you must use this uh, to, uh, you must uh, fill this text box write the capture code to prove that you are not robot okay now uh, after clicking the uh, clicking the button then uh, activation code will uh, send to your mail address what mail you just put just uh, put this code as email validation could see that there is email validation code see it in your mail address and just put the code click on confirm ok now check out click on check out ok now <coughs> nf and login is ok now uh, name your domain name and select now click on manage website yes here see that <coughs> now go to the that location where you just uh, uh, host uh, this is the project host and t log here and uh, here i just uh, host them as the hosted file is select all file and right click send to compress zip folder uh, to uh, to select a whole a whole file in uh, <coughs> together uh, just uh, click uh, zip for archive file go to the file manager See that now the uh, folder is uh, this is now empty file manager you can uh, have a, a file uh, just delete that file and uh, uh, click on upload select that file ok bin gif just click on the upload and ungif un un archives see that in the uh, down left down corner bottom corner it's uploading and ungiping uh, the, go to the database and uh, the database name is tlogdb okay and as ms sql version my tlogdb okay my sql version ms sql version is 12 you can uh, what is your uh, sql version click here to manage the database now i am going to restore the database to restore the database first of all you should create a backup file go to the start program or microsoft sql server this is my authentication ok uh, go to the expand the database folder in the object explorer my database is my tlogdb ok go to the task and backup 
this is my backup file you can uh, backup as you uh, as you demand okay uh, this is the uh, existing the d database folder just click on okay my tlog db backup was successfully created go to the computer my computer and see that in the, the database folder and already created the backup file backup file name is my tlog db back files see that uh, this is the my backup file i uh, kept it in share file okay I just uh, paste it in uh, the desktop my tlog db back files go to the browser and database click on the database yes manage I already created the database name only but I did not uh, uh, restore or attach to any database go to the restore database click on the restore database link and just choose file go to the desktop and uh, my backup file name is mighty log db back files yes just select and open just uh, click on upload file and restore it after clicking uh, uh, you you can get a connection string click here to manage to get the connection string this is the connection string you should use this connection string in web config file just copy the connection string and Go to the open file manager go to the file manager yes in this file manager click edit text in the web config file just in the connection string uh, see that is this is the connection string just uh, paste what you copied yes now it's paste add this version with your face uh, you should use the login form.svx in this context login form.svx so that when you browse its default page is uh, login form.svx uh, uh, displayed as default page just click on save ok ok now go to the uh, go to your file ok just click on now I am just uh, login it HIBIB my username of this software of this website is Habib and password just click on login uh, it's redirecting yes this is main page 